Welcome everybody. Today we are going to be looking at how to create this cool little echo effect in Canva. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go over to elements or your uploads and pick out your image you want as your focal point. So I'm going to grab her. I'm going to remove the background. And now if you're in the free version and you need to remove the background, there are a couple apps in the app section, or you can go over to a site like remove BG and remove the background and then bring it back over in Canva. So now that I've got my focal point, I want to start off with making two copies. And I'm going to just put them to the side for the moment. You can line them up if you want to the way you want. Or you can do that after, just personal preference. So I'm going to go over to my edit. There's edit here, and you can also hit these arrows if you're in the glow up. Um, I'm going to go over jewel tone, and I'm going to just use one of the pre-made colors. I'm going to go blush on this side, and peppermint on the other side. So those are the two colors and you always have the custom color one up here where you can use your own colors that you want to use for this. And now what I want to do is I'm going to X this out. I'm going to go into position and I'm going to go into layers and I'm going to put my center, my focal point into the center. So that's her. Now the other thing I did with my focal point one my center one is I did add some shadows to her. So I just added a drop shadow. A lot of times the drop shadow for me is kind of big. So I always pull the distance in a little bit. And I might put a little more blur on it. And then take the intensity down. But everybody likes their shadows in different ways. So you just do it whatever way that makes you happy. So I'm going to pull these in tight on her. Like so. And then I'm going to just use the one that I didn't, one of the ones that I didn't use a shadow on. So I'm going to put, pull this duotone one. I'm going to make a copy of this. Now for whatever color background you're going to use, that's the color you want to use when we do this next part. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into my edit. I'm going to go into shadows now. And I'm going to put outline. So what I'm going to do is pick my outline color that I want. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to try to get one of these colors in here. If you got the hex code, that would be even more. I wish there was a color picker here, but there's not. So I'm going to try to get into a pink area. It looks kind of pinky. Let's see. We've got some pink going on here. And I'm going to try to get close. That's kind of purpley. So I'm going to try to work and try to get something in the realm of that pink. And then what I want to do is I'm going to X that out. I'm going to go back into duotone and then I'm going to take my center and I'm going to make that the color of my background. So if I'm going to do a white background, we're, we can do a black background. Let's do a black one because that kind of looks cool. I'll do black background. So I'm going to go back in here, go into duotone and then I am going to change my two colors to whatever your background color is. So if it's black, white, purple, whatever color it is, that's what you want to make your background color. And then once you have that, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to duplicate that two more times. Come on, kick in. Here we go. And then I am going to X that out. I'm going to go into position. And then I am going to move those behind. And then I'm going to line them up like so. So they're over top of each other. Let me grab the first one and move that behind her. I'm going to grab the second one. Line that up like so. And then I'm going to grab the third one and like, let's see, let's grab that second one and make it a little bit prettier. Let's kind of line them up. And then I got that echo. We're going to move that a little bit. And then what I want to do, you can grab any of these now. And I'm going to duplicate, bring one over, and we'll do that for the other side. So what we want to do is go back into Duotone. Uh, no, excuse me, Shadows outline and then we're going to get a blue color so we're going to get the blue and then we're going to try to make it kind of match that blue to some degree that's in her it's, it's kind of like a gray color blue and then once you get the color that you want what you're going to do is the same thing you're going to make three copies of those i don't know why that one's going all the way over there come on baby and i make the third copy and then what you're going to do is just go back into your position and line them up in order which they are echoed the wrong way. So let's 
see if we can echo them the right way. Let's line them up. Nope, that needs to be in front. And then that one would be on top. So then, no, I'm echoing the wrong way here. So we're just going to move that one here, here. Okay, let's get this outside one. You can do it. Where is this one? Oh, that's all the way up there. All right, there we go. And then we can line them up. You can bring them in tighter if you want to. You can grab these three and bring them in tighter. And you're just going to position 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 them the way you want to. So we go in here and kind of lighten them up better, like so. And then when you got them the way you want to, go in here and then resize everything and put it down. You can keep it like that. You can take it to the bottom and kind of cut, take those edges off. And if you want to do something like your background's going to be gradient or something like that, you can always take one of these and go and um, remove the background to make this just an outline. So I'm going to put this in a different page. And we'll go here. And I am, I'm going to file, download, uh, PNG. This is page two. Done. Download. And then I am going to, because even though I do have Pro, I still love my Remove BG. So what I'm going to do is bring that into Remove BG. Now I have my outline. I'm going to download that, bring it back over to Canva. Uh, let's see. If, bring it in. And then if you wanted to use it like that, because you want you. You don't want a solid color in the back. Now you have one that has that's hollow all the way through. So if I go and change my background color to like a gradient, let's use a gradient. See, I have that. I have the hollow mark. And the same thing you can do. Now you can go over if you have it this way. When you change your colors, you can still go into Duotone and say I want it to be that color. I want it to be that pastel color or peppermint or whatever. So that might be an easier way to do it too. If you want to do that and then you can just change your colors to go with that and stick it on your original one and then you have those you can use it that way too and then you can play around with your background color and that's how you do that little echo effect real easy little fun little design i want to thank you guys for stopping by i love you guys i'll see you on the next one bye y'all